game gives me a reading. A ratting. It's my turn for a reading. Through the power of Vigi Games. Um, to everyone who is here and everyone who is watching, thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate starting off the year very strong with a good little tarot stream. Um, not necessarily going to have a schedule for streaming. I'm kind of just going to stream when I can and stream when it, I'm available. Um, I'm not going to put that pressure, but I am going to look to aim at least to stream two times a week. That's, that's the main thing. Because if I don't at least try to do that, then what's the point of this hobby? <laughs> <clears throat> so, if we can, if there's a time to find consistency, we will carry on with it. But if not, you know, we just gotta have to roll with the punches in a way. I shall open game. There are some. I would say there is a warning. I I, I don't know if I have that. Is it hotline? Is that the one that has the thing? Did I change that? Oh, yes, here we go. It's this. Uh, DoesTheDogDie.com Very good website to find out any trigger warnings or anything that goes wrong within a movie or a TV show or a video game. Um, just be aware. I'm letting you guys know just in case. To so definitely check that out uh, to see if there are any themes that are coming up in this game that may bother you. I definitely understand if you don't want to be here for that. That's more than fine. Boom, boom, boom. Studio mode. Damn. The last game I played on PC was Turnip Boy. Damn. Anyway, let me know if you guys can see the game, if it's too loud or too quiet. This is the shape on the ground. So again, what happens here is dioramas come up, we kind of like deal with it, read it, and see what it says, and there's always three words that it kind of goes with. You pick a word that you think mostly relates to it, and then it will essentially tally it up and give you a sort of reading. Um, I think this is the third time I've done it. Turn it down the smallest bit, okay. Oh, that went all the way down to zero. Okay, I, I turned it down a smidge. Um, but do let me know. So in this instance, we have this diorama here. Can I turn up the FOV? What do you see? A lie, a truth, or a compromise? So here, I kind of saw a, a lie, gotta be honest. I see a lie and a truth. The reasoning would be the truth of the situation, the truth of the matter, going straight down to the gut feeling. But also a lie because of the faces that are hidden between it. I see the idea of lying between your teeth. I see the idea of, you know, it's being a gut-wrenching thing to say. The fangs are so strong, so compromised. You right? Then it is a compromise. No, that makes sense. It is a compromise in a way. Hold on. The game is kind of destroying itself. I just need to adjust a couple things here. Cool. The annoying part about this game is actually finding the goddamn things. Because I could never. Oh, here's one. This one might be a bit brutal, so prepare yourselves. I'll give you a couple seconds. Alright. 10 seconds, we're gonna go into it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, one. We are entering. What do you see? Teeth. Desire, change, beauty. I see more change here than anything. The fact that the pieces are moving and the pieces are adjusting. The fact that there's a face in the back. And the fact that there's like that surgical line there. The surgical line makes me think change. So me personally change. Do you see desire? I can kind of see desire. The want to change to something or like the want to be something different. That makes sense. Let me know why you think desire as well, or like why you think certain things, because I'd like to see how you guys think. Wait, is it through here? Ah, there we go. Kind of odd one, but I see beauty standards and demands the desire for more. Moving parts, the scars, set that for me. Oh yeah, I can see. I'm definitely on board with you with the beauty standards kind of feeling from that. A rise, a fall, a cycle. I don't know. A cycle feels kind of right because it's that feeling of like once you build too high the tower will have to crumble once you learn something new. And again with tarot this is the tower I would think representation fallen angels and whatnot. But I'm feeling a rise. I don't know why. I feel like it's the rise that I'm more focused on this time than the cycle. Like I think back then I would really like focus on those angels but to me the tower is like so prominent so i feel that a lot that feels like really i feel really strong in that right. three out of twelve and let's go through here Where is it? Where's the fun boy? There it is. Woo! What do you see? Intention, intuition, pretension. Wait, I don't know what pretension means. I do this every time. Pretension is a claim or assertion of a claim to something. I see a cycle on this one, maybe kind of relate to my life right now. But it's like building to the top just for it to be destroyed again. Hmm. Just like the tower, the, the tower card, it's more like understanding that cycles are important or that things have to change. So that, yeah, I get that as well. This used to be intuition to me, but... The way that it's built, the way that this game is, and the way that I'm seeing things, that there's a lot of intention that goes into it. You know, like the color scheme, the speed of which it spins. I know it's supposed to feel like it's intuition. I know it's supposed to feel like it's just nature, but there's a lot of intention that comes to it. Whether it be from like yourself and what you could put into it, because the activity that we're currently doing is projecting into the situation. It's very much dealt with the intentions of how you're feeling with the intention of what you want to put forward so i'm definitely putting into that i like this one a lot though wait did i get hit oh no it's just the thing. okay i actually see pretension just so much aspiration it's super big lots of moving parts mm. 
Like the way that I would describe it is clockwork. Like that's the one thing that makes it feel so real. Is that it'll continue to keep on ticking and clicking. But even then clocks stop. Even then clocks like have a have a break to it. Where do I go? God damn. Unbridled ambition. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good way to look at it. I think this is one here. What do you see? I've always liked this guy. This guy was always so cool. Finality, destiny, entropy. This one felt more like entropy to me. Just straight, just the way the natural world goes, the way things progress. It's just, I wouldn't call it a destiny. I wouldn't call it like the final end because even when you end or when things end, it will continue on. You know, there's that sense of it continues to move forward no matter what. Like those things in the back, it's like moving back and forth or cycling through. It passes through everyone and everything. But things stay certain, like the backgrounds or these figures. Like, if there's a sense of moving forward still. Is that moving or is that still? It is moving. Oh. Yeah. The slow, like, entropy. Oh, another one. Oh, it's a block in the middle. Oh. Denial, portrayal, betrayal. Um... Yeah, I'm Portrayal. I'm Team Portrayal on this one. I don't know what else it could be. I don't see any denial that comes with it. Wait, is it Portrayal or is that other word? Or are you... No, it is not. No, but it's portrayal. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't see anything different about it. Yes, there are the hands that come up through the bottom. Denial was your first one. I guess these two are being denied each other. If you see that in like a context of people wanting to be together. With the middle person being like the block that was there. Because my, my idea went to this is what maybe this person was being portrayed as. There are two ways to portray themselves, but they don't know which one they would like to be. But that picture right there, even with the clock, the spinning cogs, but in the background and stuff, is just truly how they are. So, like, where is it? I do portray it. It sort of looks like the nine ones, so... Yeah, I guess you can see that with the ropes. Kind of encaging or encasing them to it. The hands, though, are interesting. I never noticed them. Alright, six out of twelve. Or even society forcing denial. Like preventing it from being true. Devotion, destruction, or desperation. I don't know.
There's a sense of intent here that makes me think destruction. Devotion and Desper. So you don't see destruction. Interesting. I can see I can see all three, but to me, destruction seems the strongest. Cause like we were talking about the Emperor today. And the Emperor has been so key into explaining that we have to look after our village or our people. So this one's like he's sitting the the, the the demon figure what I presume to be a demon figure that sits atop. Just sitting there watching, chilling, watching the destruction happen. It's like a sense of relaxation within the head or the person at the top that just allows for it to happen. It's very religious though. Flogging. Following the cross. From the outside, devotion and desperation looks like destruction, but really only one usually results in it. Mm. So you see it as more of what's causing the destruction rather than it just being destruction. I think that's good. Yeah. You're looking more of the cause rather than what is happening. And my perspective was just straight up what is happening in front of me. So that's cool. So this is the church we go to at the end. That's when we go and everything's complete. He's a big boy. Oh yeah, the bugs. Butterfly. Larva of some sort. Resilience, weakness, strength. I don't see weakness in any of this at all. Strength and resilience is the one that goes to me, but to me resilience because the way that this butterfly exists, being such a fragile creature but still being able to grow into a butterfly or a moth. Resilience so strong with any bugs. I know, right? Like, how are they supposed to... It's so weird to see them live in a world that looks so dangerous and so, like, destructive. But also, they just manage to do it. Yeah, I'm very much... I very much see resilience here. Adapting to the environment. Adapting to nature. That's resilient as fuck. So we've been through that one. We've kind of looped now. So we got four more to look for, and this is what I hate about this game. It's so hard to find other things. There's that one again. Oh. Or is that the church? No, it is not the church. Okay, good. What do you see? A future, a past, an omen. Oh, dude, this one to me was a past. Again, my, my, my perspective is very much what I'm seeing. And it's seeing like old fortune telling and what they used to do in the past. So this is very much the past to me. But I can see a future because they are fortune telling, trying to see what's going to happen, trying to calculate. The calendar continues to move as well. And then an omen because they're predicting potential disasters. I don't know. That's also a thing that's there. That's also a thing that could be seen. But mine's definitely a past. Ooh. What do you think, Em? How do you see this? I'll look for the other one while you type. Oh, 
write this one. I see an omen. It looks superstitious, like the Mayan calendar and thing. That's not a weird. That's not a weird perspective. It's exactly like that. That's that's a genuine feeling towards that. I don't see that as wrong either. It's, I see. Just to me, I felt more of a past than I did the old man. Alright, what do you see? An inquiry, divinity, or scrutiny? Uh, the ticking clock just sent me towards open. Oh, like time counting down, time is ticking. That makes sense. This one is screwed me to me. Just the way that they're looking at the eye. But also, the focus on how eyes work. It just feels like I'm being scrutinized, I'm being watched, I'm being analyzed. Church. There's the fire. Yeah, inquiry makes sense as well because I feel like it looks very scientific. You know, it's just about understanding what's in front of you and trying to learn rather than actually going through it. But things get scrutinized all the time. Two more! God! So, have we been through... I don't think we've been through... The... Like, the back route. because it looked curious as if they were looking to cure oh a cure okay oh here we go oh is this the betrayal one yeah because if you look in the back you can see yeah secrecy treachery or royalty to me this one screams secrecy because when you go look behind the bushes, there are people there. Oh my god, a maze! Whoa, I didn't realize there was a maze. Mayhaps treachery, since there are people who look ominous and evil. Mayhaps, mayhaps. I'm secrecy. Alright, last one. It's gotta be here somewhere. Oh, we just went through there. We just saw that one. You want to go with the royalty. Oh, here we go. We have not been through here yet. The last one! I do... I think I chose royalty in the past. Because the person in the middle just represents what royalty may look like. In terms of the way that it ages through time. And how it's always passed down within the family so it stays forever. But also, like, the negatives of royalty when it comes to people wanting you dead, wanting to murder, wanting your power. Ah, yes, the stabby, stabby sword one. Mm. 
body imprint, candles, blood coming in the back, chains. Pressure, erasure, pleasure. This feels like pressure to me. Just all the red, the dying flowers, it's just, and obviously like being stabbed puts on a lot of pressure. I can see erasure. I can also understand pleasure, but not necessarily what I feel. It's the big one. It also goes through a cycle. Like it rotates. Pleasure. <laughs> Uh huh, uh huh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kidding. Uh, pressure to me. Woo! Enter the chapel! God, now if I can find it. I hope I can find the chapel. I think it's. You know how you're super content with your situation? And blind to its action, that's actually treating you with that kind of pleasure. Oh, like an ignorance, ignorance is bliss kind of a thing. Jesus, it's so fucked up. These have been changing so often. Light, eternity, roots, comfort. Oh, the ground is shattering. Roots, comfort. All this build up. Oh, Jesus. Is that going to break as well? Here's the reading. <laughs> Confessionals. Nothing ever ends. <laughs> Excuse me, huh? Yeah, I know. Nothing ever ends. Okay. Nothing ever ends? What do you mean, game? What kind of ominous reading? <laughs> the first reading that I got made sense. The second one was also questionable. And this one was also questionable. Nothing ever ends? Hold on. Let's let's see if I can find the other ones. I'll, I want to track what they actually have been telling me. Twitch. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. So we got nothing ever ends for this one. Nothing ever ends. 160123. The first time I did this, I got build it anew. Which made sense. It's like, okay, it's a very inspirational type of a thing where they're just telling you to move forward. 
the next one I got was um, Tragedy Begets Opportunity. Which again made sense, actually, because it's like... Did I play these only in 2021? Did I not do this at all in 2022? Interesting. Anyway, but you know, that makes sense. But nothing ever ends. I don't fully... I am not 100% on board. But I can get it. I can come up with something to make myself feel good about that. Or like, come up with a definition. Like maybe in a way it really speaks to literally <laughs> bro what I can make this good. No, I think I can I think we can. Like what if nothing never ends comes in a way of like your actions and a butterfly effect in life and it how it just pushes and creates this sense of new. You know, maybe the effect that you had on the earth is nothing ever God <laughs> Okay. Okay. Okay, let's make it make sense. Oh, man. All right. Let's do this. Let's turn on some music. God, this is hard. What the hell to... I need it to feel... Find a better word. I need to find a better word. Feel more feely. <laughs> Look, my brain's not here. Um, I'm trying to send it to the sky. I'm trying to send it more abstract in a way, but grounded. It's so weird to say it like that.
There we go. Okay, I figured it out. I've done it. I've done it. An abstract haiku. Well then. Well, it's trying to be. It truly is trying to be. Uh, let me know when you're ready, Em. I'll read it out. I think I figured it out. Shower me in haikus and endlessness. So it's a simple one. Obviously, it's a haiku. Pursuit with intent. Loving to the full extent. Nothing ever ends. I think that's the one. I think it works. Man, the last poem that I did was you redeeming one for Jojo. We called it the poem poem. And then Forgotten Kings. And then Nick got one as well. And then Cheetah, and then Jojo, and then Peachy, and stuff like that. That was great. Dude, I think it was good. Pursued with intent, loving to the full extent, nothing ever ends. Yeah. We made use of whatever abstract BS that was from that game. It worked out. Good stream, team. Good stream. Em, I appreciate you being here. I appreciate your support. You're so fun. Thank you for continuing to join in when you can. I hope everything goes well this year. Just a random abstract thought generator, pretty much. I'm glad you enjoy being here. I enjoy having you here. Um, yeah. Thank you, Stream Maps, <laughs> for the reminder. Um, but we're good. I think we're going to end it today. The next stream will most likely be an evening stream. Um, I just think that's how the week is going to be. Uh, let's. 